Big stories tonight. Singer, actress Aaliyah is still in Florida, Florida from the Bahamas point. last night on a private plane. Apparently, one of the engines who drugs have played a role in the crash that killed Aaliyah. Aaliyah's friends can't believe the investigation, although engine failure and overloading of the end of the runway here. The front nose cone of the plane is smashed. You never know when you're hold and stuff just kind of comes up out of nowhere sometimes, right? pops up I have to honestly say that everything is worth it. The good moments when you are on stage performing in front of thousands of people. I've got a family and I've got a career that's blossoming and still growing. And I am truly blessed. And I thank God for his blessings every single chance I get. It was like, wasn't I just waving at these people and hugging them and kissing them? And telling them I love them. She was just nervous about getting on this little plane. And I was like, you know what? Don't trip. My first reaction was pretty much to just scream. I couldn't put my psyche around anything like that happening. It just didn't make any sense. I feel so blessed because I'm, everything that I've always wanted is happening to me. And I just feel like I have so many places to go and so many things to enjoy. I'm just very happy. Very blessed got my closure that I wanted to finally be here. It's a surreal feeling. You know, this is what I've wanted since I was a little girl and, and you know, living a dream. People across the country are mourning the death of Aaliyah. Plane is smashed in, fuselage appears to be broken in half. No matter what Aaliyah did, she was never gonna leave any of us. She never wanted to leave any of us. Thank you for being a beautiful person. It's hard to say what I want my legacy to be, you know, what I want people to say when I'm long gone. That really makes me happy, and I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world.